so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create a basic iRig in blender with the help of the track to container so without any further delay now let's get started the tutorial and before starting the tutorial guys i just want to show you what we are exactly going to make in this video so here you can see guys into our scene we have a three empty and uh, which is directly linked by our eyes here you can see so when i'm just going to move our arrow empty our eyes also going to follow them here you can see and if you want to move these eyes individually you can also uh, move these eyes individually as well here you can see that's look fine you can move it according to your desire according to your suitability so now how you can do this let's start a tutorial so first of all i just want to start a new file so here you can see guys here we have a brand new project file so first of all what i'm going to do i'm just going to select one of my eyes and then i'm just going to uh, add one empty here I will just press the shift A and I'm just going to my empty sections and here I will just add one spare empty. Okay, so right now here you can see our empty going to add here. We don't want our empty here. So for that what we have to do, we have to just uh, select our eyes. Then we have to just select the shift S and here we have to just uh, select this option cursor to active. So that cursor going to move automatically our eyes. So then I'm just going to add one spare empty here. Yeah. And I'm just going to scale this little bit and then I'm just going to move it here to here and keep it here by the way that's look fine okay and we'll also add one more empty so I'm just going to duplicate this empty I will just press the shift D and then I'm just going to duplicate this here to here something like that okay so I think that's look fine yeah and after that I'm just going to select my eyes and then I'm just going to my container setting and here I will just add one container's name as a track to container and then I will just going to select the uh, this eyedropper tool and going to select our empty so here you can see when I'm just going to select our empty that eye is going to uh, rotate it something like that so for that we have to just uh, fix some axis here so first of all I'm just going to change the axis as a x axis and here I'm just going to select the z axis so here you can see our problem going to fix yeah that's so fine and now here you can see if i'm just going to move this uh, empty here to here so our eye is going to follow this tracker basically yeah and same thing we'll do with the other part as well i'm just going to select this eye then i'm just going to make constrainer properties and here i will just add the track to constrainer and here i will just select the eyedropper tool and going to select the second empty and same problem will happen here as well so we have to just fix from these axes something like that i think we have to also select the x axis for this yeah i think we have already selected yeah that's look fine so now here you can see it's also going to follow this empty here you can see that's look fine okay so now we can uh, move our eyes uh, individually something like that but if we want to move our eyes together so for that what we have to do we have to just add one more empty in that empty with uh, both empties okay so for that i'm just going to select the both of the empty and i'm just going to select the shift s and i will just select the cursor to active so that uh, cursor will come here then i'm just going to add the one arrow empty here single arrow okay then i'm just going to move it here to here and i will select the first two empties and then i will select this arrow empty and then i'm just going to press the control p okay so here we see the new dialog box so we'll just select the object and keep transform so now here you can see when i'm just going to move this arrow so both eyes going to follow that uh, location basically here you can see and now you can also move your eyes together as well here you can see and that's look fine and if you want to little closer with your eyes so here you can see now if you want to rotate your eyes individually you can rotate it individually if you want to rotate your eyes uh, together so you can just rotate it with this arrow empty okay so that's how you can create a basic eye rig in blender with the help of the track to container which is super easy you, you don't need to add any bones in your scene you have to just add a simple empties and uh, add the track to container uh, and link with them so after that you will see that kind of result okay and that is very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you so i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys